You know, today was a crazy day. Before going to bed somewhere around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, I announced on the Facebook site after I put the video to upload and of course the ROM package as well um, that the ROM would be released exactly at 12 o'clock noon. But because me going so late to bed, I stood up at 12.30 and then I stood up and then I looked at the video that I posted and I saw it was the wrong video, it was the long version, 30 minutes. I was like, oh my god, what did I do? So that was one, because I created two versions, uh, a long version and the version that, it, that I would post, 11 minutes or so. So I posted that version and then I stood up and I saw six dislikes and one like. And I knew from who that one like came. That was from my friend Tudor, that is also helping on this project, supporting the, this project. And six dislikes, so I stood up and the day went really wrong. Because I looked at the video, I saw it was the wrong one, so I deleted it and uploaded the new one. Of course, apologized to the viewers. And then at a certain moment, I don't know, we got so much haters. I don't know where they come from. I never saw so much haters on my... I never got 10 dislikes on one day. I did get 25 likes on one day, but 10 dislikes, you know, and that for a project that we're just trying to create uh, something that is not there yet, you know, and something that can be installed on ev every rooted phone, as I just discovered, because in this video, we're gonna, um, we're gonna flash the Samsung, uh, the Samsung Gyo with the ROM. As you could see uh, in my previous video, uh, I told you that the Samsung, well, maybe maybe I never, well, I think I will tell it uh, soon when we're gonna do the thing. I will tell you in a second. But in fact, uh, this thing is running CM9, that is Android 404. And uh, in fact, it's, uh, um, it's just themed, because uh, when I did this, I did not know about uh, creating a flashable, uh, a flashable uh, mod file. You know, I mean, like it's it's just fantastic what I learned these last days. You know, creating a flashable install installer that will um, effect be installed over the existing Android after a clean user wipe, a factory reset under clockwork mod. And then after it's been flashed and after the boot logo is flashed and the user will, you know, go back and restore, you know, um, they will get exactly the same as what they had before. So they won't have to go ahead and flash the team again and flash the Apple logo again. It will just be there as if it was always there. And you will be greeted with setting up your phone the Android way. Of course, this is still an Android phone, even though we gifted some fancy looks of the, the fancy Apple iPhone, you know. So let's go ahead and see how that uh, must be done. So you can also try it. Remember, um, Whenever you try thing like this, I advise you to also look in the clockwork mod and you will see that you can create a backup. Create a backup. Okay, it's important. Especially uh, from your contacts and all these things. You know, if you're just having a phone just like me and you're not caring about the information on it and you could restore it at any time, then of course, you know, you have a toy to play with but if this is your daily phone and you really want to give it this, this serious look and feels also after a factory reset then um yeah you must be a little bit careful huh? okay and remember that if something goes wrong that you know you can't hold us responsible for it okay so it's a little chance that you're taking it's not uh 100% tested yet on all sorts of phones but I tested it on 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 this phone it went just fine this phone is running Android 404 so soon I'm gonna flash um, 
you know, I'm going to flash the maximum that exists. This thing, uh, this is the Samsung Advanced. I'm going to just uh, let it, you know, charge a little bit. And then I'm going to simply um, do a wipe user partition. And then I'm going to flash it with the the ios mod and see if i will also get those look and feels etc because then this mod also works on the android 6 but i did not test it yet so we'll have to see about that so let's go do the first test on the samsung gyo hi there youtube i'm here with uh my friend tudor here you can see him on the on the phone and uh here in my hand i have a little samsung gyo it's running the cm9 mod this thing has been themed okay so all these icons that you see here these were just a theme from the app store okay but now i want to make it kind of permanent we're going into recovery and we're gonna see if the mod works on an existing android first thing that we will have to do is wipe data factory reset well in fact you don't have to do it but if you don't do it you will have all your other old apps still and in fact um yeah the apps that i installed will also come into your uh, system but i did a complete wipe uh, because i wanted to see how it is to create a brand new phone after a factory data reset and in fact it would be fantastic to have the full package but then again it doesn't really matter we just want to see if this is working okay so now we're gonna do a wipe catch okay yes wipe catch and then -da, we're gonna do wipe dalvik catch okie doke so now in fact we are ready to go oh. to go to the install of the SIP. So we go to install SIP, install from SD card. Oops, one back. And there it is. This is the reloaded and this is the app zip, app 2 zip. Let's go for the apps zip. Let's install that. I think uh, that we will have to fix uh, the boot animation. I think the boot animation will be will be resetted so we're gonna get uh, so let me get my well let's first take a look what will happen okay we install the zip and we're gonna do a wipe catch for now only and now we're gonna reboot the system and I think that uh, the Apple logo will be gone that need to be flashed again because we did not flash that yet. What do you say? Is boot logo there or boot logo gone? What do you say? It, uh, it, it will be there. It will be there, you say? I think it will be gone. Okay, we make little bet after flashing with the Pokemon ROM. And... Uh, <laughs> this is really amazing, people. So... Um, in fact, tja, after you flash the, with the mod apps, you will have these standard apps always installed after a reset. That's really cool because these apps are apps that I really thought of, you know, and tested and, and really like. They also have no spamming advertisements in them. So, you know, they were really worth it to insert into the system. Also, the little video editor, um, the, the recorder, you know. Um, tja. uh, I also added a little package, uh, uh, extra folder. 
uh, with CM security and with a firewall, a root firewall, two door. I don't know if you saw the package inside, but uh, I also, and also the FM radio for the Samsung S3 from Spirit F was added from the XDA uh, website. So that was also inserted, will not work on other phones though, because it all has to do with the radio chip that is uh, on the motherboard, of course, of this phone. And if it was not specific created for the phone, it won't work. <clears throat> the guy of Spirit FM is doing a great job creating fantastic FM radios for rooted users. Because that is most of the times uh, a problem. If you root your phone, install a custom ROM, most of the times you won't find the FM radio because it's just not there. Uh, okay, so we get back in uh, the setup screen and this is really fantastic. I, I really, I'm so happy to see this and also that we are not losing our boot logo and that we're in fact uh, having a phone that will always have this look and feels, you know, um, as long it, as it will in fact live. It just transformed in a phone that cannot be, you know, easily uh, uh, be formatted. These two little errors you will keep getting. So I'm really happy. I can say a successful project uh, there. Um, Tudor? Yes, now I'm working on as advanced on the script. Okay, very well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, so I want to thank you for watching. I really like the fact that this thing, after a factory reset, comes back into, you know, into whatever I created from it. So you can say this is almost, it turned into a sort of kind of permanent ROM. Uh, yeah. However, so I want to thank you for watching. Tudor, say bye bye to the people. Bye, guys. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you did not subscribe yet, subscribe to our channel and also check out our Facebook uh, page. And the advertisement of that will come right now. Bye bye.